Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 1741, Thursday, April the 11th, and this is going to be a channel update video. Uh, I've been gone for a while, so we're going to look at some analytics. We're going to look at the month of March. We're going to go over the goals that we originally set for the month of March, how reality lined up with that or did not line up with that, and then we'll set new goals for the month of April. So let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are going to go over some analytics. So in the month of March, this is the this is the basic info for the month right here. If we go to YouTube analytics, um, YouTube shows us a bunch of information about the channel, how it's doing. I like to do these every month, both for my own review and for for you, the audience, the community to be, you know, a part of, a part of this process. If you're I, I believe that if that if you're watching my videos, right, if you're a part of the discord, then you're a part of the team and you deserve to know how we're doing. So, so this is how I share that information with you. So let's go over really quick um, some numbers here, some stats. In the month of March, we have um, 10 and a half thousand views. So originally, um, the goal that was set was to hit 40,000 views. I, I barely hit a quarter of that, right? Watch time, the goal was to have three and a half thousand hours hit 750. Subscribers, the goal was to get 500. We got 50, right? 10% of that. So obviously, oh, the other stat goal, right? Goal was to get 300 additional people in the Discord server, and we got about 30. So nowhere near any of the goals. So so how how were we so far off? Well, um, I've been, been gone. I've hardly put out any videos. So I put out a few. Um, in the month of March, but but it was very sporadic. Um, real life has been very busy around the first week of March when I set those goals. Uh, my family and I, we found out that instead of moving in August, like we were originally planning, now we were going to move um, at the end of April. So we're getting ready to move here in a couple weeks. So we've been very busy with that. And so YouTube has kind of moved to the back burner. We're pretty much caught up. We've got a few things to finalize, so I'm trying to get back into it. I started putting videos out again a couple days ago, um, but that's why the numbers are you know abysmal compared to the goals because I've been gone. I haven't putting out con been putting out content, but this is also kind of interesting for me because I get to really see a couple of um, key indicators of how how important pushing regular content is in this genre, right? In this um, niche. So if we go away from March and we go to the last 90 days instead, because I started putting out content, first video here, Saturday the 13th, we've got Friday the 12th. So I started putting out videos 10 days before that on the second. So this is almost all of the, the entire timeline. If we look at views, um, Views are kind of steady. I've got a couple spikes from, you know, a couple good videos. Pretty, pretty steady, right? And then we hit the beginning of March, and we go down, 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 down. Hardly get any views. And the reason for that is twofold. One, in this environment, these types of games, the primary way that you get engagement, the primary way that you get views is very much flavor of the day. Um, this isn't a type of uh, environment where most people's videos in the, the, the online gaming space, right, in the gotcha gaming space, in um, games like this, they don't really stay active forever. Most of them have great views in the first, you know, 48 hours or so, and then they die off. There's some few, there's a few exceptions, but for the most part, most videos for most content creators are like that. So if you're not putting out um, videos, then most of your old videos aren't getting very many views. And the other thing that really contributes to that is, um, where are you? Content maybe? Impressions. So impressions, are how many times YouTube 
shows your video, right? How many times your video gets exposed to a potential person, right? A potential viewer. So we have 614,000. Um, that's for the entire nine months. But what we see here, right, is that the impressions die off in the month of March when I'm not putting out videos. And we can look at that a little bit more specifically, right? In the month of February, which was the last month that I was putting out content for the entire month, 292,000 impressions, okay? Which again, um, I, I would need to do something to show January here. January was, I don't know, 100,000 or something. Maybe it was 200,000. It was less than that, right? 25% more, right there. So. That was because I put out content for all of January and then all of February. So YouTube and its algorithm, right, was catching on to my regularity and more people being involved in the channel. And it was showing my content more and more often. And then when we get into March, that 300K drops down to 100. It was slashed by a third because I wasn't putting out hardly any content at all. So it exposed fewer people to my videos, right? So I'm putting out less videos, so there's less flavor of the day engagement, and YouTube stops recommending my videos, so I get less happenstance engagement that way, right? So, so March went into the gutter. Something else that is kind of interesting for me, if we go last 90 days, so we, we bombed all of our stat goals for the month of March, right? Which is to be expected when you're not putting out content. That's okay. That's why we're here. We're owning it. The other goals that were set, the non-stat affiliated goals, one of them was to get the channel monetized, which we did. We got monetized in the week or so after that. I didn't actually activate it for a few weeks after that. I think I set it up the third or the fourth week of March. And um, here we are, right? And I'm, I'm big on transparency. So yeah, it looks like the 27th of March. So it's been active for a couple weeks. And in that time, estimated revenue, $46, okay? So like I said, big on transparency. This is what this is what it's doing. Um, 20 bucks for the month of March. That's the month that we are discussing and reviewing right now. So that's, that's, uh, that's way more than I made in February, right? Which is nothing. I think, being very new to this, I'm pretty sure YouTube pays out quarterly. I don't know. Correct me if you know otherwise. Um, but I'm, I'm learning this and that's all from ads that people watch when they watch my videos. So uh, about 20 bucks a month. April, like I said, we started a couple days ago putting videos out again. So impressions are starting to go up. Views are starting to go up a little bit. Got 25 so far this month and we'll see what the end of the month looks like. I don't have a goal there because I don't know. First of all, I have nothing to base it off of. Um, I have no intelligent way to set a goal there. And secondly, um, money is nice, but at the end of the day, I'm doing this thing. I'm doing this YouTube thing. I'm putting out content to provide value to you, the community. The money's a bonus, right? So um, the, the reason I'm setting goals aside from the money is because those help build the channel, which helps gain exposure, which helps more people at the end of the day. That's why I'm here, to help people and provide value. So um, so we hit that goal. We got the channel monetized in March. The other goal was to get better tech for recording videos on my phone. I did not do that in the month of March, but I did do that as of today, right? During March, I wasn't putting out very many videos. I started doing it again this week. Today, I, I sat down and, and I bought it. I bought a nice mic that I can hook up to my phone while I'm recording videos. That way there will be higher audio quality when I put out videos on my phone because most of my videos I put out on my phone uh, because I don't have a lot of free time, so it's, it's just more convenient for me, right? So at the very least, if I'm going to put out the majority of my videos on my phone, I want them to be sufficient quality, right? Uh, instead of there being a significant auditory delay. So that should be fixed starting next week when that mic appears at my house, right? Via Amazon, thank you so much. The, what was the other one? What was the other one? Thumbnails, the other goal was to start making better thumbnails. And this was something that was pretty interesting also, right? If we go to, there we go, click-through rate. 
So for the last 90 days, we're at 6.4% total. The click-through rate, right? So that's based off of the impressions. So the impressions are how many times YouTube uh, essentially pushes your video, right? Puts it in front of someone, and then they have the opportunity to click on it. Your click-through rate is, is just that. It's the rate that people click on your video when they're exposed to it. So I'm at 6.4%. From what I have read, um, normal click-through rate um, is, like, like the vast majority of people are in like the five to 20% and um, you know, 50, 60% of people are like in the two to 10%. So I'm right there, I'm on par. Fastidious um, showed a little bit of hit at his analytics, I think a couple weeks ago, and I think he was at like a 7% or something. So I'm not far behind him, which honestly really surprises me a lot, right? Because part of my goal was to get better thumbnails, to get more people attracted to get a better click-through rate to build the brand, right? Um, and I have almost as good of a click-through rate as Fastidious, who is, you know, arguably the top content creator for this game. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, so that really surprised me. Um, so for right now, I still want to, I did, uh, long story short, right? I did not meet that goal of creating better thumbnails of either partnering with someone or carving out more time from my life, right? I had less time because of the move. So for right now, I'm still gonna keep doing thumbnails the way that I am. They're getting sufficient click-through rate, right? I would always want them to be better, but thumbnails I've decided are going to be a, a future me problem um, after we move and get our house set up, right? We can revisit that. So for the month of April, the month is almost over, right? Today's the 11th, we have about three weeks left. So what can we do for goals? Let's go to the month of April. So let's, um, the I, I want for stat goals, right? I wanna start getting back into consistent videos. So let's get the views from the 10K from the month of March. Let's double that, let's get it up to 20K. Let's get consistent videos out. Let's start getting more impressions going. Watch time, it was 750 for the month of March. Let's get that again doubled, right? Uh, 1.5K subscribers, we got, um, what, about 50 in the month of March. What was the number? 58, right? So let's get, in April, let's get 100. Let's get another 75. I'm basically doubling everything I did in March, which is still less than I did in February, but we're getting back on the horse. And again, I don't have a goal for revenue, right? That's just, that's just a cherry on top. I get a couple bucks. Um, Non-stat related goals. I the, the only one that I'm gonna set this month, right? There's a lot going on in real life. The only thing that I'm gonna set is to get back into consistency. That's the most important thing in this space. That's the best thing I can do for you, the community, my audience, is to put out videos regularly to try to help more people. So the way that I'm going to measure that is by putting out a video at least six days a week, okay? I'm still human, I still have a family, I still have children, I still have a job, we're still moving. But if I can put out a video six days a week, get consistency, get YouTube to start capturing my stuff again and start building the brand again, then we can get set up into a better space for as we move into the summer. So that is going to be the video. We reviewed March, we came nowhere close to our goals, but that's okay, that's part of life. It is an opportunity to improve and move forward for the future, right? In the month of April, we're gonna pick up where we left off. We're gonna start building our traction again. We're gonna put out consistent videos. We're gonna get a little bit better numbers and I'm gonna start helping folks again, all right? That has been this video. Thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, if you appreciate what I'm doing with the channel, then please support it, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, join the Discord server, share the Discord server with your friends and people that you know um, so that we can build it and we can help more people. So at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Again, thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.